Doc here with the rainbow angle. Now, in a previous video, we have seen that white light refracts and spreads out. Blue bends more than red. Here, we have highly exaggerated the effect for illustration purposes. And this particular drop is showing a red beam going into the eye. And this blue beam will actually come from a different droplet for it to get into your eye. So when you look at a rainbow, you're seeing different droplets. The red droplets on the top, that would be this one we're showing here, going into the eye, and a lower raindrop for the blue, which has a lesser angle, an angle of 40 compared to the red's 42. Well, where do these angles come from? Why does it work this way? This takes us to this applet, where we're going to look at the white light entering the top half of the droplet because that's where the action is for the primary rainbow. And notice if the light hits close to the center of the droplet in terms of its height, the angle of 5.6 degrees you see there, that's the angle that is made with respect to the horizontal, very small angle. And you'd have to be kind of like up up here to see uh, light from that particular configuration. Here if I look at light hitting the upper part of the droplet then this angle with respect to the horizontal gets larger. Here we're up to 20 degrees, 21, and you might look at the effect of the different colors that will sweep by. Remember that blue bends a little more than the red, so you see the colors from different raindrops, but they will tend to overlap in your eye and wash out the rainbow, except for the fact that watch what happens here. When the angle gets greater and greater, there's a greater density now here because we start to backtrack, and as this occurs, we see that there's a bundle of rays which gets reinforced. So this is the reason why we see a rain bow and this is the angle close to here it happens uh, at 40 degrees is where this uh, happens in calculus course we would call this an extremum problem where we find the problem where there is a max or a minimum here we could consider that as a maximum for that angle 40 degrees and since there is a stationary point here as they would say in math classes this is an enhancement of the rays of light that go to your eye from this point and that's where you get the rainbow see at that 40 degrees and here we have it 40 degrees for the blue and 42 for the red. When we look at the secondary rainbow, it's the light that hits the bottom part of the drop at a certain place. We can play the same game and find that extra uh, place where the droplet will have a bundle of rays so that there is a reinforcement. And when that occurs, we have the secondary rainbow. And here, you see the nice picture of the two rainbows where the colors are flipped when you look at the primary rainbow versus the secondary. Primary has blue on bottom, red on top, and the secondary has red on bottom, blue on top. And that's because the blue light here is the steeper one, so we'll have to look higher, higher droplet to see that, and the red is not as steep. So the blue is about 54 degrees, and the red 50 degrees.